stand to your feet, turn to page 228. I will sing the wonder story while the youth choir the last verse. the man of God tonight. Bless the choirs they sing. God touch our heart tonight, preacher. Heavenly Father, as we come before your throne tonight, we are so Oh, Lord, help us tonight. God, may your will be accomplished in this place. By the marvelous grace of God, washed in the blood of the Lamb. I thank you, Lord, for the preaching of the word of God that we've heard. God, so far this week, pray and touch the man of God tonight as he stands to preach and to break bread of life, give him that divine unction that only comes from you. I pray, God, tonight, Use it to oh, touch Lord, grant it. God, tonight. give him liberty. Pray, God, for that one that might be lost in our midst tonight, that tonight be the night that give their heart to the Lord Jesus and be saved. I pray for the youth choir tonight. Let them sing for your honor and your glory and magnify your name. Get glory in everything that's done. We'll thank you and praise you for all that you do. In Jesus' wonderful name, we humbly ask it all. Amen. Amen. You can be seated. Amen. The youth choir bless your heart while they're singing tonight. You worship the Lord with them, all right, and they'll be a blessing to you. So.
say it to this church uh, a lot and that is the blessing of living in the dispensation of grace is that right now everybody in this building can be right with the Lord amen, amen. That's, what, that's what makes grace so amazing amen you can be right with God tonight everybody in the building can be right with the Lord now whether you are or not is left up amen to the choice you make with that grace that is being, amen, extended to you and the mercy of God. But I am so thankful tonight that through grace, our heart can be right with God tonight and we can find favor with him, amen. Isn't that a blessing? Amen. You accept that by faith because it is by faith, amen. 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 I don't understand, I never have been able to understand why God would love the world because I'm in it, amen. Yes. amen. And the word so in John 3, 16 is probably the biggest word in all the Bible. Amen. For God so loved the world. And I don't understand all that, but I sure am glad tonight that I have been able to experience it. And that is because of God's amazing grace. Amen. The quartet will sing for you, worship as they do. No. 
not really real While others say they know for sure Is love you cannot feel But I know he's real within my soul For one day he lives and may said to Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. I'm glad that he was then, still is tonight. Amen. I want the girls to come and sing one acapella for us before the preacher comes to preach, if y'all would. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's good to be saved. Amen. 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 Appreciate my family. I know sometimes I probably take it for granted that I'm able to serve the Lord with my family. My grandchildren are here tonight, my children. And I'm grateful for that tonight. And I want to say publicly that I appreciate the privilege of being able to do that. Anything can happen. The devil hates it. Amen. 
and uh, storms happen, things and situations come in the lives of, of many, but God's afforded us up to this point the privilege and opportunity to serve him together, and I thank God for it. I don't take it lightly, amen. amen. Bless the Lord for it, amen. amen. They said the other week that they thought about working on some songs for <laughs> camp meeting or jubilee, and, and then I called on them to sing, and they said they really hadn't practiced, so they practiced on us. And so it sounds like they're trying to get ready to practice on us again tonight, amen. So we'll let them sing for us, and then Brother Pace is going to come and preach to our hearts, amen. You'll worship as they do, all right. Tim, dead and tried, we're oft made to.
cheer up my brother live in the sunshine oh we will understand it all by and by praise god amen bless the lord amen come ahead preach if you would amen hallelujah amen it'll be all right after a while Just keep sticking the oar in the water. Amen. Keep rowing. Praise God. Say, preacher, it's dark out here and the storm's raging and the waves are high and the wind's blowing. Praise God. He knows exactly where you're at. Amen. Say, preacher, I'm toiling, but just keep on rowing. Just keep on rowing. I don't seem to be getting nowhere. Just keep on rolling. Praise God. He'll be here in a little while. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank God. He's on his way. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord. Amen. Just keep rolling. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I preached a few weeks ago from on the pool of Bethesda. I preached out of that text in John 5 several times, but I never had thought about it. He'd been there 38 years, and I preached on just stay put. Jesus will be here in a little bit. Amen. Amen. Praise God. 38 years. Been a lot of things, a lot of things going on in that man's life that made him want to leave. Amen. A lot of things wasn't going right for him that would make him want to leave. But he just kept on. Amen. Them five porches. Amen. God made sure he had a place, a shelter. Amen. That he could he could get he could he could find some consolation there in them five porches. I believe that's grace, dispensation of grace. I believe it represents the church. Amen. Jesus will be here in a little while. If you'll just Amen. Amen. Just stay put. Praise God. It'll be all right after a while. Hallelujah. I believe that tonight, don't you? I believe it with all my heart. All right. Come ahead and preach to us, preacher. Amen. Bless him. Thank you, Pastor. What a blessing to be here tonight. Constantly amazed at the providential hand of God. Amen. Amen. Appreciate the preaching, dear brother. Amen. God for Brother Wells, his preaching's always been a blessing to us. Amen. And then his encouragement Amen. and prayers. Amen. And I've told him so in response, not often enough, to text how timely they have been. But I want to say it to him tonight again, personally and publicly. Amen. And how timely they've been just exactly when I, what I needed and when I needed it well, I bless the Lord for that and I appreciate the Lord most of all but appreciate the servants of the Lord the people of God that are sensitive to the Lord and respond to him 2 Samuel 16 and verse 1 I read this text, I think maybe, uh, maybe you'll understand. I don't know. The providential hand of God when they sung the song they just sung. 2 Samuel 16 and verse 1. If you want to stand tonight, if you're physically able and willing to do so, we'll honor and reverence the reading of the word of the Lord. Verse 1. And when David was a little past the top of the hill, Behold, Ziba, the servant of Mephibosheth, met him with a couple of asses saddled, and upon them two hundred loaves of bread, and a hundred bunches of raisins, and a hundred of summer fruits, and a bowl of wine. Lord, we
we love you because you first loved us. We appreciate, Lord, your presence around here tonight. We appreciate the promise and the confidence, Lord, consolation, that Father alone, Lord. And oh, we bless your name for that. And oh, help us to occupy till you come. Help us, Lord, to have strength in these days. Thank you for what's already been done around here tonight. Help me now to give what you placed on my heart. May the word of God have free course. I pray, Lord, tonight the word of God would find lodging in hearts and lives. Sinners, I pray, would be convicted. Saints would be confirmed. Oh, dear Lord, revive tonight. And above everything, your name would be glorified and magnified among us. Lord, what you're privileged and pleased to do in, through, and for us, we'll thank you and praise you, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. The old preacher said years ago, many times he said it, he said, well, I don't have anything original. Never claimed to. Somebody's always preached it before I did. Amen. Somebody will preach it after I'm gone. He said, but would you preach it with me? While it's since it's my time and I've got to it. Amen. Amen. We preached on Monday night about David out of Psalms chapter three. As he wrote that psalm, the Bible said as he was fleeing from Absalom. We have that record in 2 Samuel chapter 15. And now in chapter 16, we, here is the continuation of that story when David is uh, forced to leave the throne because of Absalom's treason and insurrection and the people that have joined him. But when we get to this verse tonight, chapter 15 is a sad story. Matter of fact, there are two verses tonight that pretty much sum up the whole situation. Verse 23, when the Bible said, and all the country wept with a loud voice, and all the people passed over, the king also himself passed over the book Kidron, and all the people passed over toward the way of the wilderness. Verse 30 said, and David went up by the ascent of Mount Olivet, and wept as he went up, and had his head covered, and he went barefoot. And all the people that was with him covered every man his head, and they went up weeping as they went. So it is a sad commentary when David has laid aside his crown, and David has covered his head. <coughs> David now has literally took the shoes off his feet, and he's now considered a servant. And he's going up from Jerusalem my friend, down that valley across that brook Kidron and up the Mount of Olives. The people that are with him are weeping with him. They are weeping as they go up. This is a, a sad time in the life of David. Certainly, my friend, it was hard and difficult times in David's life when after he'd been anointed in his own father's house by the prophet, and my friend understood that he wanted to be the king of Israel. For him to have to run from Saul and hide in the caves and constantly be pursued knowing that Samuel had said God had anointed him. That was one thing. But here is another. As he flees from his own flesh and blood, as he flees, my friend, uh, for fear of his life and that that's taking place in Jerusalem. Oh, what a sad picture. What a sad day it must have been uh, as they make their way through that valley up that mountain, amen, weeping as they go. Do you get the picture tonight? Do you see this King David? Do you see this mighty man that at other times went into Jerusalem and they sang and said, ah, oh, David has slain his ten th thousands of, of Philistine. Can you see uh, and hear, my friend? Oh, but now do you see the shame? Now do you see the reproach? Now do you see the sadness, amen? But, oh, I'm thankful, my friend, when we read uh, uh, chapter 16, and verse number one, and the Bible said, and when David was a little past the top of the hill. 
when David was a little past the top of the hill. Oh, can I say tonight, just past the top of the hill. In other words, farther along. (laughs) Oh, something took place just past the top of the hill. Hallelujah. Oh, it may be slow walking uh, and weeping tonight uh, uh, in your situation, in your circumstance, but can I remind you, just past the top of the hill. You can just keep pressing on up the hill. You can just keep walking on with your head covered. Are you listening tonight? When you get past the top of the hill, there's going to be something else. Amen. There's going to be a change. Hallelujah. Woo. Are you listening to me? Thank God. Uh, Oh, let me preach just a moment there tonight. It is farther along tonight. Oh, farther on. Still go farther. Hallelujah. Count the milestones one by one. Woo. just past the top of the hill. It may be rough from here to the top of the hill, but just wait till you get to the top of the hill and just past it, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, bless his name. The Bible said when David barefoot with his head covered in weeping and the crowd with him weeping when he got a little past the top of the hill, the Bible said, Ziba, the servant of Mephibosheth, met him. Hallelujah. That Ziba, thank God, that he told David about Mephibosheth, that he was in loaded bar, amen. Thank God that he was lame on his feet, amen. And that he was of the house of Saul left, amen. Oh, it was that Ziba that David said, fetch him, hallelujah. And he fetched Mephibosheth, amen. Are y'all hearing me? Thank God I'm glad I got fetched one night. Hallelujah, amen. Oh, bless his name. It is that same servant uh, that now meets David uh, at the top uh, of the hill tonight. Can I say to you, thank God we don't see him in chapter 15, amen, but he's manifested in the chapter 16 and verse number one. Now we know to believers tonight, thank God the Holy Ghost is ever abiding with us. We know, thank God, that he never leaves us and he never forsakes us. We know that he's with us until the end of the world. But yet I say to you tonight, uh, there are times, uh, hey God, uh, we do not sense his presence. Uh, we do not feel his power. Hey God, are y'all hearing me tonight? But he's always there. But thank God every once in a while, he manifests himself. Every once in a while, hey God, he shows up, amen. And when David and that crowd got just a little past the top of the hill, there was Simon, hallelujah. Are y'all hearing me tonight? It may be struggling tonight. It may be suffering and sorrow tonight. But oh, thank God for this manifestation of the sweet presence of God that may await you just past the top of the hill tonight. Amen. Father alone, hallelujah. We all know all about it. Woo, woo, hallelujah. Oh, when they sung that song and that was already in my heart to preach tonight, are y'all listening to me? Thank God. I wanted to shout all over the place and thank God for his providential hand tonight. Hallelujah. 
Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah, hallelujah. How I thought, Lord, how in the world can we go to the message? Ain't God with such gravity tonight? Ain't God that the man of God had preached how to go to this? But oh, hallelujah tonight. The providential hand of God, he knows how tonight. Hallelujah. Just a little past the top of the hill. Hallelujah. You can't see from down here. Hey, God. You can't get a glimpse of it up from here. Hallelujah. But if you keep walking, if you keep moving, if you keep pressing up that way, when you cross the top of that hill, just a little past, just a little over, hey, God, there'll be Zion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. Oh, my. And Ziba had in his possession exactly what David needed. Amen. Hallelujah. And they say, first of all, tonight, thank God, just a little past the top of the hill, the Bible said, Ziba the servant of Mephibosheth met him and he met him with a couple of asses saddled. Are y'all hearing me tonight? Can I say just a little past the top of the hill there's grace to carry. Yeah. <laughs> Are y'all hearing me tonight? Woo! Thank God. Oh my. Thank God. His feet had become stone bruised. His feet, thank God, had become tendered by the roughness of the road and the roughness of the path. But just a little past the top of the hill, I was cyber with the CSS saddled how to give him grace, how to set him on and to carry him the rest of the way. Oh, hallelujah. There's grace, hallelujah. There's grace to carry it just a little past the top of the hill. You don't think you can keep walking. You don't think you can keep going. But go on tonight, cause just a little past the top of the hill, there's grace, there's grace to carry. Hallelujah. Are y'all hearing me tonight? Amen. Oh, it's always been that way through the scriptures. Always been that way for the saints. Grace has always showed up to carry. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Ten camels showed up. Thank God to carry Rebecca. Woo! Thank God from the city of Nahor back to her bride, groom. Thank God, Isaac. Are y'all hearing me? Woo! She couldn't make the trip by herself. But that old caravan of grace, thank God, was there. How to carry her, how to meet her bridegroom. Well, bless his name tonight. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Somebody else may have to finish it up. Huh? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know how much we like. Thank God. I don't know how many more dust storms and sandstorm I will like. But I do know just any day now. Thank God. We're going to get past the top of the hill. And out yonder. Thank God. Meditate in the field. It's going to be our heavenly bridegroom. Hallelujah. 
And Rebecca said, who is that? He said, it's the bridegroom. It said, God, my Lord. Hallelujah. And she lit off the camel and ran to meet him. Oh, we're just waiting on the trumpet to sound. We're just waiting on the voice of the archangel. And we're gonna rise and leave this low ground of sin and sorrow and awaken Emmanuel's land. Father alone, it'll be all right. Father alone, we'll know more about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, grace was there to carry. It was grace that carried Jacob to meet Joseph. Hallelujah. Oh, I preached on it. Hallelujah. Amen. When Jacob saw the wagons. Hallelujah. Oh, too old to make the trip, but there's grace to carry me. Hallelujah. Amen. It is grace that carried Mephibosheth. Thank God. From the pastorless place of Lodibar to the palace of the king. Hallelujah. Yeah, he rode in the chariot of the king. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Oh, thank God. Hallelujah. Was it not grace that carried the man that fell among thieves? Thank God. And the Samaritan bound up his wounds and poured him the oil and set him on his own beast and took him to the end. <laughs> Woo! Anybody hear me tonight? Oh, bless his name. Was it not grace? The grace of Salvation has appeared to all men teaching us that the night ungodliness and world in us we shall live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior. Thank God who gave himself for us that he might fear find himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. Hallelujah. I'm telling you there's grace how to carry you just past the top of the hill. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh my. Thank God. Amen. And I like this verse myself. First Peter chapter one. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wherefore gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought you of Jesus Christ. Can I tell you there's some grace to carry us home tonight. Hallelujah. Just a little past the top of the hill there's grace to carry him. Amen. Oh bless the Lord oh my soul and all that's within me bless his holy name. Not only was there grace to carry him, the Bible said, thank God, and upon them there were 200 loaves of bread. Thank God. There's a word, amen. There's a word from the Lord. Is anybody hearing me tonight? Woo! Thank God. I'm glad just a little past the top of the hill, thank God the Lord will have something to say. Amen. Oh, bless his name. His word is ever abiding. It's ever there. I'm amazed. Thank God when my head's covered, when I'm weeping, when I'm living under the circumstances. Thank God, but oh, I'm you get past the top of the hill, sometimes your eyes get open and you understand what the word has said. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not going to tarry long tonight. Thank God. Not only was there bread, thank God, but the Bible said there was a hundred bunches of raisins. Amen. That is vine sweetened, sun sweetened. Thank God. Are y'all hearing me tonight? Woo! 
I ain't got hanging on the vine. I ain't got until it became sweet. I ain't got ripened by the sun. Are you listening to me? It is better climbing the hill. I ain't got it's a better pill to swallow. I ain't got it seemed that all of the rest of David's life and those people life all they'd have I was a better taste in their mouth but just a little past the top of the hill there was the sweet raisin I ain't got to take away of the bitterness tonight well oh, there's bitterness some of you have had bitter experiences some of you have had a bitter pill to swallow but I'm telling you tonight just a little past the top of the hill there is some raisin that is sweeten your bitterness hallelujah amen hallelujah not only was there 200 to 100 bunches of raisins amen and 100 summer fruits there's a bottle of wine there's joy hallelujah you think there'd ever be joy again? Just a little past the top of the hill. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Weeping for a while, weeping on this side. Weeping climbing up to, up to the top of the hill, but just a little past, just a little past. Just a little past the top of the hill. There's joy, hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. Oh, weeping may endure for the night, but joy will come in the morning. Hallelujah. I bless his name tonight. Oh, for the joy that awaits us tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you think that it's after this meeting of Ziba at the top of the hill that David might have pulled out his harp and said, I believe I got a song I want to sing. <laughs> Are y'all hearing me tonight? He's not playing the harp. He's not singing no song. Thank God coming up the hill, amen, with his head covered in barefoot and weeping, but just a little past the top of the hill after Ziba met him, after he ate the raisins, after he tasted the bread, after he drunk the wine, he said, let me sing this song. Let me pin this down. Anybody hearing me? Thank God. I didn't preach it other night, amen. Just dealt with the first three verses mainly. Thank God. But David got so encouraged after being discouraged by his enemy that he said, I just laid down and slept. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why'd you lay down and sleep? What are you doing sleeping, David? Because he said, I got supplied just a little past the top of the hill. Hallelujah. Why'd you sleep, David? Why are you sleeping? Because he said in Psalm 3 and verse 5, the Lord sustained me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why are you sleeping, David? Because he said in Psalm 3. Verse seven, I got to thinking about it and the Lord has smitten all my enemies. If he got the bear and the lion, if he got Goliath, if he got the Philistines, if he got Saul, then he'll take care of Absalom. He'll take care of Ahithophel. He'll take care of this crowd. I believe I'll just lay down and sleep, hallelujah. <laughs> trying to tell you tonight just a little past the top of the hill you'll find what you need tonight father alone hallelujah say this I'll be through far as I know take my hand off the plow because it does sometimes. <laughs> I'm 
mean, honestly, I mean, you don't know when you take it off how long it's going to be before it gets like that again. You know what I mean? <laughs> so when, when you get in there and get to plowing deep and getting in that fur and that row, you say, oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> Just let me keep on preaching. Hallelujah. <laughs> And that's what happened to Whitfield when he done preached and they come to the house and said, won't you to preach? He said, done preach, won't you preach? And won't you preach some more? He said, all right. I'll light this candle and I'll preach. And when this candle goes out, I'll quit. And when the candle went out, he died. Hallelujah. <laughs> Ain't too bad a way to go, is it? <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Woo! Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I don't get back to the house and you get to talk to mommy, or you get to talk to my son and my daughter, or my son-in-law and my grandchildren, just tell them a little past the top of the hill. Hey God, just tell them farther along. <laughs> Woo! Are y'all hearing me tonight? <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Oh Lord. And the preacher kept saying after a while, they said, Father along. And then I thought of Father on. And then preached a little past the top of the hill. And he kept saying, After a while. <laughs> Song says in that book, After a while. After a while. There'll come a glad day. After a while. Yes, after a while. After a while. And there used to be a widow woman in the church where I've pastored the home church I pastored for two years. Thank God she's already in her 90s, lived to be above 100, and she'd pop up every once in a while when meeting gets stirred up, and she'd say, after a while, it'll all be over. After a while, the sun's gonna shine. After a while, dark clouds will pass over, and we'll shout hallelujah after a while. Well, sometimes the road is rocky and the hills are so hard to climb. But if we trust in Jesus, he'll fix it all right after a while. So after a while, it'll all be over. After a while, the sun's gonna shine. After a while, dark clouds will pass over and we'll shout hallelujah after a while. <coughs> Abraham got just a little past the top of the hill and he found provision. <laughs> Jehovah Jireh, hallelujah. The Lord will provide. <laughs> <laughs> Look like coming up this side of the hill, I was gonna have to provide. Look like coming up this side of the hill, I was gonna have to give up the old son of my old age and the son that I love and offer him for a burnt offering. But oh, just a little past the top of the hill, the Lord has provided. Jehovah Jireh, just a little past the top of the hill, the Lord's provided. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. When Moses got just a little past the top of the hill, he got the precepts. Are y'all hearing me tonight? <laughs> oh, Lord. And can I say, he even got them the second time. According to Exodus 34. 
Hallelujah. Verses one and two, the Lord said, hear you out two tables to stone. Come right back up here, hallelujah. <laughs> I know you broke them and I know what that crowd's done that you're trying to lead, but come on back up here, hallelujah. Woo! And just a little past the top of the hill, he got the precepts. Hallelujah. Woo! And up Calvary's mountain one dreadful morn. Walk cross my Savior, weary and worn. Oh Lord, but just a little past the top of the hill. <laughs> Thank God, he won pardon for us. <laughs> Are y'all hearing me? Oh, at that place of the skull, at the place called Golgotha, at the place called Calvary, just a little past the top of the hill, hallelujah. Are y'all hearing me tonight? After those six hours, I got he obtained eternal redemption for every one of us tonight. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, God, save, 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 save to the uttermost, hallelujah. Hey, God, and put away sin forever by the sacrifice of himself. I'm telling you, just a little pain, the top of the hill, hey, God, he got pardon. Oh, he won pardon for all of us. Hallelujah. Oh, my. Oh, are you crossing the brook tonight? Are you headed up the mountain, up the hill tonight? Just keep traveling, cause just a little past the top of the hill, the Lord will meet you with everything you need. Praise God, amen. We're standing to our feet tonight, amen. Where you at on the journey tonight? Heads are bowed, eyes are closed, Brother Josh will play, the altars are open. Thinking about quitting tonight, got weary and tired, been traveling a long time, been a long way, feet are sore, weary and worn. I encourage you to not keep walking. Praise God, you'll crest that precipice see something you've never saw before provisions from heaven that you've never known given to you by the sovereign hand of God are you listening tonight persevere stay faithful keep rowing father along you'll know all about it Oh Lord, help us tonight. Would you let the Lord help you tonight? Would you let God do something everlasting, eternal in your life tonight? God's grace will see you through. Stay faithful to Him. Oh, Folks praying, these altars are open. You need to do business with the Lord. You can let Him help you tonight.
day. This way, thank you for your obedience tonight. I say amen to the preaching, don't you? Praise God. That'll help you if you'll listen to it, appropriate it to your heart. Let God work in your life. Amen. Thank God for truth tonight.